Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. All right, so in this jar, I have the remnant of green onions. Now, as you can see, I left the bottom portion, the section that has the root on it, and all I did was place it in water for a few days, and look at that, all of these roots. Some have been in there a little longer, so you can see that. Those are probably about a week and a half old, all the way down to a few days old. Now, as you can tell, the foliage is really light because when you grow them in water, simply just water, you're not gonna get the dark foliage that you're used to on green onions. But once you plant them out in the soil, like this little guy over here, you'll notice that they start to get a little more green because out in the soil, they're gonna get a lot more nutrients than what they are in just the water. And it's really easy to plant these guys. So I'm gonna show you how simple this is. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my trusty gardening tool, look at that. And I'm just gonna make some holes. Really simple. And just gonna take the jar, gonna grab one of these out of there, you see that? And I'm gonna plop it down in the hole. You wanna make sure that the roots are covered completely. Because dry roots kill your plants. We're just dropping them down in there, covering the roots completely, and then tapping down. So simple, you can do this in just a couple of seconds. Anything breaks off, don't worry, it'll grow back. Look at that, you've already got green onions growing. From something you already paid for, you're just getting more bang for your buck. In a couple of days, these will start to darken. The foliage will start to get a lot darker for you. It'd be a lot greener. Oh, I still got roots down in there, huh? It's all right, there's just more nutrients for the soil. And this one is not as, there we go. So the reason I have these so spaced out, you don't have to have them this spaced out, 
but um, I tend to let my green onions stay in the ground for a long time. All I generally do is come out and cut and go. Whenever I need some, I just come take a little snip and let the rest of the onion continue to grow. And because of that, my onions tend to get quite large. Uh, this is just this little guy here. There you have it. I'm just gonna water these in and uh, let nature do its thing. All right guys, thanks for joining me. I will see you in the next video.